Hi there! Today we're going to talk about the Rode Wireless Go 2 wireless microphone system for your smartphone and DSLR or mirrorless camera. I just picked mine up uh, about an hour and a half ago from ProCam in Cincinnati and have had a little bit of time to play with it. And so today I'm going to go ahead and show you a few things that I've already learned about it and a few things that you may need to know before you pick up your own Rode Wireless Go 2. So before we get too far into it, let's go ahead and just take a look first at what comes in the box. Okay, so first things first, this is the Wireless Go 2 from Rode. Uh, the box is not super large, but it does contain everything in it that you need to get started. Uh, the box is glued shut, so when I opened it, I had to kind of hulk my way in. Um, I kind of demolished a little bit, but uh, the reason I want to show you what's in the box here is because as I was looking at it at the store, uh, it does show you on the back what's included, but it's not super clear uh, what everything is unless you really know what you're looking at. So I'll go ahead and just take a minute to show you what this is. So that's the box. When you open it up, you will find two microphone transmitters and uh, so that's these guys right here and one receiver uh, it is very lightweight um, a little over an ounce maybe two ounces I would I would estimate it's gonna come with three wind guards a carrying pouch an instruction booklet which this is interesting because there's no words on the instructions it's just pictures so it takes a little bit to figure out what you're looking at but it's actually really well designed uh, it's going to come with three USB A to USB C connector cables and this is for charging uh, the receiver and the transmitters it comes with one uh, I think this is a TRS yeah, and TRS connectors this will connect the um, microphones sorry, the, the microphone receiver to your camera. Uh, the couple things that it does not come with, so that's everything that's in the box. What it does not come with is if you're hoping to use this with your smartphone, you're gonna need a couple things. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the contents of the box, let me help explain a couple of things that you're gonna wanna know before you either go to the store to purchase your Rode Wireless Go 2 or before you order it online because there's likely adapters that you're going to need depending on your situation. So uh, if you are using your DSLR or your mirrorless camera, you're actually probably okay just using the contents of the box if your camera has a standard three and a half millimeter uh, microphone jack. If that's the case, you're good to go. You don't really need anything uh, special to, to use the microphone system. Where you're gonna run into issues is if you are hoping to use your smartphone or the Rode SmartLav Plus uh, wired microphone with the wireless transmitter. So I'll start with smartphones. If you're using either an Android phone or an iPhone, um, you're, you're probably going to need an adapter. So if you're using uh, your iPhone, this is the adapter you're going to need. It looks like this. It has a three and a half millimeter headphone jack um, and the lightning connector. Actually what this is, this is, is a TRRS uh, jack adapter to lightning. Um, and TRRS and TRS, I'll say those here a couple of times if you don't know what those are. The TRRS jack looks like a three millimeter headphone jack or th three millimeter um, standard jack, but it actually has three black rings on it. A TRS with one R, the jack has two black rings. And it's critical, <laughs> because it won't work if you don't get the right one, it's critical that you get the right adapters for what you're doing. So, if you're using your smartphone, um, the setup is gonna look something like this. You've got the receiver that comes with the uh, wireless go to. You've got the uh, cable, that, that's a TRS cable, has the two black rings that's gonna connect to the receiver. If you're gonna plug this into your camera, this other end would just go straight into your camera, you're good to go. If you're using your iPhone, you're gonna need the Apple adapter and 
the bad news here is you can't actually just plug this TRS with the two black rings into this and then plug it into your iPhone because you won't get any sound. And the reason, you'll remember I just said that this adapter is a TRRS adapter to Lightning. This is a TRS jack. So you're going to need another adapter. This adapter is the Rode SC4 adapter, I believe, uh, that adapts a TRS jack to a TRRS jack. So two black rings to three black rings. So you plug that into the end of the receiver, and then this end goes into your Apple adapter, and then that can go into your iPhone. If you're using Filmic Pro to do your recording, uh, once you plug this in, in this setup, you'll get an option in the settings under audio to select the headset microphone as the source for your audio. And that's how you know that this works, because if you're missing any one of these pieces, you won't get that option because there's going to be no sound, um, no feed coming from the receiver to your iPhone. Um, if you're using Android, the setup looks exactly the same. Uh, the adapter actually looks really similar to that you need. I don't remember where I even got this one from. Um, but it, this adapter is going to depend on which phone you're using. A lot of Android phones nowadays use the USB-C adapter, so this is a TR, TRRS adapter to USB-C. Uh, if your phone uses something else, you're going to have to find an adapter that is TRRS to whatever your phone's connector is. So the setup looks exactly the same. Um, receiver, TRS cable on both ends to the TRRS, or so, sorry, TRS to TRRS. Again, this is still the Rode SC4 adapter. Uh, you're going to plug that into your Android adapter and then plug that into your phone. And you should be good to go. Again, Film Pro, you should get that. Uh, headset microphone option if this is all working well. So that's actually two additional adapters you need if you want to use the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone system with your smartphone. The box does not explain this and it's also not super clear on the internet what you're going to need. So if you want to save a few bucks, here's another tip. You don't need Rode brand adapters. TRS to TRRS or TRRS to TRS adapters are actually pretty standard and you can buy generic brands for about a quarter to a third of the cost of um, the Rode brand. So hopefully I, this video will help save you a few trips um, or at least a few days of waiting to get the adapters that you need so you can use your uh, fun new Microsoft or microphone uh, system. So that's that. The second one I mentioned is if you're using the Rode uh, SmartLav Plus microphone. Uh, this has a TRRS jack on it, so we got the three black rings. The microphone has a jack for that, so you can you can plug that in. However, the jack accepts a TRS with the two black rings, and the SmartLav has the three rings, so we're dealing with the TRRS jack here. This needs a TRS. So in this case, you need yet another adapter. Uh, in this case, it's the exact opposite of the SC4, so it is a TRRS to TRS adapter. That, if you're buying the Rode brand, is the SC3 model, and it would work basically the same way as it did with the receiver. You just plug the correct, um, you plug the um, Smart Life Plus into the adapter, and then you plug the adapter into the transmitter, and then every sh everything should work just fine. Again, the box doesn't say this, and it's not in the instructions. Uh, it's just something you have to figure out. So again, hopefully, if this is what you're planning on doing, uh, this video will save you a few trips, maybe a little bit of headache, and explain why when you plug the Smart Lab directly into the transmitter, uh, you're not getting any sound. So. Uh, with all that said, if you are looking to use both the SmartLav Plus and your smartphone uh, with this system, you're going to be looking at using a handful of adapters. Luckily, I actually had all of these adapters at home from other projects uh, that I had done in the past, with the exception of the Rode SC3. I didn't have that, so I did have to order it. Um, but I did get a deal on one on Amazon. It's actually a generic brand. It's not the Rode brand. That is probably a little secret to save you a little bit of money. Um, I think I got a two pack for $8. So great option there. Um, hope this helps. Uh, I definitely had to scratch my head a little bit today as I was setting this whole system up just to test it and uh, 
had to do a lot of scouring the internet. So hopefully this answers several of your questions in one place. I also will include some sample clips that I filmed just in the backyard. They're nothing special. They're nothing I planned. It's basically just me rambling, but um, I did try the different um, uh, decibel level settings on the Rode Wireless Go 2. Um, it has three different settings for decibel level, uh, zero decibel reduction, 12 decibel reduction and 24 decibel reduction. So you can hear the difference between those. Um, I also used, um, since I didn't have the adapter for the Smart Lab, I did not connect that to anything, but I did uh, just use the microphone that is on the, uh, that comes included. So it's microphone transmitter combo. There's actually a microphone in this and it's surprisingly good. Um, I'll also call out that I did test that on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I didn't hook this up to um, any of my Sony cameras to test that. So I don't think that should make much of a difference other than there's a couple other adapters in the system. Um, but overall you should be hearing what you'll ex or should expect uh, from the Rode Wireless Go 2. So if you have purchased this and are happy with it, let me know in the comments below. If you have purchased this and are not happy with it, I'd also like to know. Um, 30 day return policy. Uh, I actually went to ProCam hoping to buy the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro system, which is very similar to this, but it includes um, the, the wired microphones in addition to the wireless transmitter. Uh, with the Rode, you have to purchase them separately and they are $80 a piece. Uh, so all in all, the Saramonic system is going to be a bit cheaper. Um, however, I haven't tested it. I don't know uh, what to expect from the quality on that one. Um, I haven't used Ceremonic microphones much in the past, although ironically I am using a shotgun mic to record this video. I mean, I have been quite happy with it, um, but as far as their wireless systems go, I, I don't have much to say because I haven't used those before. So let me know what you think. Um, if you've purchased this, if you're going to purchase it, let me know if this video has helped you at all. I do plan on posting more videos like this. Uh, reviewing and maybe helping answer some questions that you may have uh, about camera and photography and cinematography related products that are on the market. So uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. All right guys, so today I'm going to test out the new Rode Wireless Go second generation microphone that I have here on my belt. I've got the wind poof on to make sure that it doesn't get too much rustling from my shirt. You can probably hear the sticks and stuff that I'm stepping on pretty well because it is actually halfway between me and the ground. And that was probably pretty loud. You can tell it's actually coming out here. Really weird to be standing like 30 feet away from my phone and know that when I play this back, you're gonna be able to hear it just fine. Okay, I'm gonna try this out again, uh, testing the Rode Wireless Go second generation microphone I have here on my belt. This time I have reduced the decibel level to minus 12 decibels to see what the sound looks like compared to when it is recording at full volume. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. I've got the wind protector poof thing. I can never remember what those are called. Oh, uh, what is that thing called? I can't remember. Hey, just realized that my house has a satellite dish on top. I never knew that. We don't watch much TV though, just YouTube, so we never need a satellite dish. But anyway, this is minus 12 decibels. After this, I'll go ahead and test the minus 24 decibels, see what that sounds like from my belt. Alrighty, now I've got this set to the minus 24 decibels. Still testing out the Rode Wireless Go. Two wireless microphone transmitter. I am not using the Smart Lab microphone, just the microphone transmitter itself. Uh, so we'll see what this sounds like. There is actually a pretty strong breeze right now, so we're gonna really find out how that uh, how that sounds. You can probably see the tree next to me shaking and rustling. And like I said in the previous video, I've got the the wind sock on, the poof thing. I still can't remember what that's called. Uh, but it's under my shirt and uh, with that wind sock on. So we'll see how this does. I have a feeling it's gonna work out pretty well. One thing I'm 
kind of worried about, though, having it on the middle of my body is all of the sounds of me walking and stepping through the grass and whatnot, which I feel they get that I don't actually want to hear. All right, this time I'm testing the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone transmitter. I'm wearing it here underneath my shirt. Uh, it is pointing at my mouth, and I have it on the minus 24 uh, decibel setting. I have a feeling that this will actually sound pretty good. The one thing I am a little concerned about, and we'll see how well this, this works, uh, this wind guard is there is a pretty steady breeze, probably 10 miles an hour uh, blowing or gusting, I guess. It's pretty consistent, probably about two or three miles an hour with about 10 mile an hour gusts. Um, as you can see, the tree by me here isn't moving too crazy, so it's not real bad right now, but I can feel it. It is a decent little wind. We'll see what you can hear with minus 24. I will try the minus 12 decibels next, and then um, the zero decibel reduction after that, and we'll see how this sounds. All right, now it's set to minus 12 decibels. So we'll see what this sounds like. I guess I'll turn around and walk like a normal person. Uh, I imagine that it probably still transmits just fine when I've got it turned away from the receiver, but who knows, we'll see. But here I am, I'm probably a good 30 to 40 feet away from the receiver at the minus 12 decibels. Next I'll try the zero decibel reduction and we'll see how it sounds. Should be significantly louder than what we hear right now. Okay, it's now set on the zero decibel reduction setting. I'm talking about the same volume that I have been. I'm gonna walk about 30 to 40 feet away from the receiver and the camera. And we'll see how this sounds. So far I haven't noticed, um, even with you know the tight placement of the houses here, everyone with their Wi-Fi, uh, this does work on a 2.4 uh, gigahertz spectrum. So we'll see how that does, but I haven't seen any um, reduction in quality or dropped audio interference or anything. So everything sounded pretty good. Still testing the Rode Wireless Go 2 lab system. And this time I am not wearing it on my belt. I'm not wearing it on my front. I'm wearing it on the back of my neck. I do have it set to the zero decibel reduction setting, so it is just as uh, loud as it will record. Uh, again, standing about 30, 40 feet away from the receiver and the camera. Wind has died down quite a bit, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And I'm curious to see how this sounds. The thing I'm kind of impressed about is as cars were driving by with this, I didn't hear any sound from the cars in the recording, so that's awesome. All right, so the last thing I'm going to try is I'm not wearing it, not wearing the microphone, just holding it right here in my hand. I imagine that's going to give me a little bit more variable sound than when it was, you know, placed in a certain area, but I'm actually really curious how this is going to sound compared to the other clips where it was maybe rustling against my skin or my shirt. This will be a good test too. There's a really loud old car about to drive by. We'll see how much sound I get from it. Our neighbors are always working on weird projects and that's going to wake the baby up. Oh my gosh, what a piece of crap old car. It's like six different colors. And there it goes. So we'll see how this sounds. It's kind of amazing to me that this tiny little thing is both a microphone and a wireless transmitter. It's like teeny tiny compared to microphones from the past. Let's see what we got.